Hi everyone, uh, good morning and I am happy to uh, see you again. I am Benny for uh, Recycling Me. Uh, I am glad to uh, meet you through this uh, Recycling Me weekly scrap report. Uh, today is August 8, 2020. I hope you are all doing good. After a few months of COVID-19 storm and its disruption in the metal market, now it's showing good recovery and the market remain optimism. Uh, now the scrap market also started to feel the change. I have much good news to share with you today. Uh, the scrap market is still on the road to uh, recovery and the scrap price are uh, progressing at a high speed. I have informed you about the substantial and significant uh, move in the scrap market on last July 24 on the back of a stronger Chinese um, iron ore, uh, iron, a stronger Chinese iron ore and uh, steel prices. Following to that, the scrap prices have also increased and the, uh, and the countries like Turkey, India, Vietnam, uh, 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 USA and uh, UK have also raised their uh, scrap prices. Relatively, that was a, a good move at that point of time for the scrap traders, recyclers and manufacturers because the recovery started to chase the scrap market to uprent against the uh, supply overhang, marginal demand and depressing uh, prices for uh, finished uh, steel products. Following the stronger uh, stronger demand, the Chinese iron ore futures gains this week also. Chinese steel making ingredients futures prices further rise further. Uh, Dalian iron ore jumps more than 4%. Coal hits 12 month high. SGX iron ore up 2% and price hovering near months peak that is a good news uh, currently we are uh, certainly we are going to see a, a strong demand in the coming days and price gains in the coming days as because the world top steel producers continue to ramp up the output uh, owing to the good sign we can also be able to uh, see global as uh, scrap market continue to surge upward as the buyers are active in the market it is definitely encouraging for us to see the uh, more steel demand and the prices increasing worldwide. International prices for HMS 1 and 2 moved up this week comparing to the previous week and the local steel bar prices also increasing as well. After the Turkish uh, price uptrend, uh, imported prices of imported scrap prices for a South, a South Asian market like Pakistan and India have also observed uh, the uh, absurd and uptick. Would you believe if I say that the scrap prices jumps around dollar twenty five in uh, one week of time and reached dollar two eighty three of uh, HMS one and two and shredded or at dollar three hundred and fifteen for CF for Navashiva uh, the Navashiva port. Currently, European market is also doing well. We can also find a price increase of around dollar twelve per ton, and U.S. export market is also doing well. U.S. U.S. export market, uh, uh, USA, USA started to take uh, intake scraps uh, quickly, and now they are doing uh, only. 10 to 15 percentage uh, down uh, over to on pre-COVID level. I would say that the international price is somewhere edging towards the January level. That's another good news. I hope uh, without China, we cannot be find this uh, tremendous recovery in the scrap market. This so. With the tremendous signs of uh, recovery and growth, China has become the backbone of the steel and uh, scrap industry. Prediction says that the following to the uh, following to the favorable weather in China this month consumption of uh, steel, especially this uh, construction steel in particular, expected to recover in August after the advert weather uh, seen on last month. I hope this is a good news for the countries which are exporting steel to China. Concerning India, we also have a good news. India recorded its first year-on-year -year growth in steel production after the COVID-19 outbreak. Jindal Steel and Power recorded 13% growth in consolidated uh, steel production in the month of uh, July 2020 comparing to July uh, 2019 while our sales rises 29 percentage in July 2020 over the July 2019. 
uh, also the uh, also the recent news shows that the steel companies have uh, raised about 2000 rupees per ton uh, for during the past 10 days on the back of increasing domestic demand and the international prices taking uh, this is taking near to the pre-covid level recent news also shows that comedenu limited is one of the m m largest selling tmt bar manufacturers has a ramped up production about around about 80 percentage and uh, in its total production uh, capacity and expecting a full operations across the country soon even though the domestic uh, demand is rising on um, rising over months the year on year uh, demand is uh, still on still uh, remain very weak so government infrastructure projects and uh, is the only key to boost the domestic demands uh, to the pre covid level so let's hope this sectors operations came to normal playing soon and this government support is crucial this time recently i have read the news uh, that maruti suzuki and hudoi have also planning to increasing their production core manufacture call productions as the automobile industry experts estimated that the demand for small core is uh, is going to rise and sales also going to increase in the coming months so may this adoption will boost the scrap demand ex curb in the coming days so i'll be in touch with you this related news in my uh, next ma next week uh, market update okay stay tuned to us this uh, recycle envy market if you haven't subscribed our channel please go and subscribe and stay updated uh, to this market news thank you for watching have a nice day bye thank you